The next Starship rocket that will launch from South Texas unstacked from its booster on Thursday, but this wasn't the only midweek news from the Starship program. SpaceX released an 18-second clip of a Raptor vacuum engine test firing. The test happened in August, and it's important because it demonstrated that this version of the Raptor engine could fire under the same extreme cold conditions as if it had been coasting in space for quite some time. Back in April 2021, SpaceX got a $2.89 billion firm fixed price contract to use Starship as the human landing system on the Artemis 3 mission. That November, NASA says SpaceX conducted a 281 second long test firing of another Raptor engine. On this occasion, it was used to demonstrate a powered descent down to the moon's surface. Talking about that 2021 test, NASA said, quote, the successful test provided NASA with early confidence in the company's engine development. The agency noted that the next big test for the Raptor engines is coming up on the second integrated flight test of Starship. That launch date is still TBD. During his comments on Starship back in August at Kennedy Space Center, NASA's Jim Free noted that there are a number of key developments on Starship that need to both be demonstrated and validated before astronauts are able to fly aboard for the Artemis 3 mission. Starship doesn't exist by itself. There's interfaces for our suits, so our suits contractor has to understand the interface and, and the design and the, the emulators and simulators that are ready for that. Similarly for Orion, we need that interface to be worked. So I think we have a better understanding in the big picture, uh, our, our relationship, our needs. Um, but we, we know they're, they're gonna, they've proven that they can make great progress. I'm sure they will continue to do that. Reporting for Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.